סעיד אבו שקרא, שלום. שלום לך מיד. And welcome to culture buzz. Thank you very much. Actually, סעיד, we are the ones who should thank you for your hospitality here in Um El Fahem Gallery, of which you are the founder and the director. סעיד, would you be kind enough to tell us about this mission of life? Okay, this is mission of, li- of life and love. And, uh, and love. We established the gallery here before 18 years ago. And we established the gallery because we decided uh, one day to take responsibility about our life and about our, our future. And uh, I think that uh, the revolution that we create by the gallery, it's uh, huge. And, um, Uh, a lot of things uh, we did here of, um, uh, from the day that we established the gallery till now and uh, our vision now is to take the gallery from very uh, well-known gallery to uh, be the first Arab museum in Israel. It will be, it will be a museum uh, for uh, dialogue between cultures inside Israel and outside Israel. I think that it will be an equal dialogue between everybody come here because we started uh, to, uh, to preserve our history about our memory and about our culture and I would like to see everybody come to Umil Fahim to our museum and our future to look for our pain and our uh, memory and our culture and from there to create the, the one level for the both of the the sides that they want to, to, to create the dialogue and to create dialogue about the most difficult questions inside Israel. I think that it's the time to uh, create a real dialogue between people and between nations inside Israel and outside Israel. Mm-hmm. The museum will be the place that everybody wants to come here to look to the culture of the Arab uh, people in Israel and to see the place who decide to be the house of Arab culture and our uh, art, and from there to uh, create the touch for everything that happened here. And behind you, we see the vision. We see the actually uh, museum, when it will be built. And the question is, first of all, it looks beautiful. Thank you. So, congratulations. But the question is, how close are you to fulfill your dream? I think that it's, uh, we are uh, close for uh, the museum, but I think that it's, uh, we are far from the building. Mm-hmm. The museum is not only building. The museum is content, it's research, it's uh, a collection, it's uh, awareness, it's community, it's everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, if I say, if I mean uh, community and everything, I, I, uh, we are very close to, me, to the museum. Mm-hmm. But building, because it costs a lot of money, uh, we look for uh, the man who will say in the future, it's touch me, the project touch me, and I would like to support and work to give you the money for the museum. Basically, we are talking about donations and sponsorship. We now work very hard uh, mm-hmm. to find the man who, say, who will say, that the life of the Palestinian and the Arab community in Israel it uh, interests me uh, to, mm-hmm. to give money and uh, to say that the dialogue inside Israel between Arab and Palestinians and everybody outside Israel it's important for me and uh, I think that we will find this man to give us the money I hope to find, them, uh, to find him very soon uh, but uh, I am a very optimistic man, optimistic man to find this man And, uh, but we work for the future, for the future building museum mm-hmm. to create the contents and to create the awareness and to create the people and to create the love and to, crea- to create the uh, environment for this building. Mm-hmm. Uh, a question that comes to mind, why Umel Fahim? Is it because you are a native of Umel Fahim? This is why you chose the place? Yes, it's uh, because I think that... Uh, I have to be a patriot for, for my uh, place that I born here and uh, I would like to give the best of my uh, years uh, to this place because I love the place, love the community, love the environment. I love the past and I love the future and love the future to be 
good future for my children and for my new generation uh, in the future. Mm -hmm. And you told me just before we started this conversation that what you are doing here has to do with a personal sacrifice because you are a painter yourself yes. and in the last six years you gave up painting because you want to give everything you have for this? Yes, uh, I am an uh, artist, an artist. Uh, some of my works in uh, the collection of, Tel Aviv, of Israel Museum and I show my works uh, around uh, inside Israel and outside Israel okay. and, uh, but uh, I am very sorry that uh, the uh, commitment, my commitment for the place here that grew up all the time very um, large and very uh, strong. Uh, it's like they took from me the work of, uh, with art because our future is uh, this, the vision here, mm -hmm. to build the future museum for the Arab community in uh, Saeed Israel. Yeah. Said, maybe we should take this opportunity that we are here, your guests in Um El Fahim Gallery, to ask you uh, to say a few words about Palestinian art in Israel. How would you describe it? I describe the Palestinian art in Israel that it's beautiful and uh, powerful. And uh, now many uh, special artists from the Palestinian community in Israel uh, grew up and knew all the, all the time, new artists with the, um, all, the, all the fields of art they work. And uh, I think that uh, people inside Israel and outside Israel, abroad, very interested about the Palestinian art inside Israel. And uh, I am very happy to say that uh, our uh, future museum will be the house of Palestinian art inside Israel and outside Israel, and to be the bridge between cultures and between artists uh, in, in all the places. Because it will be platform for dialogue, and platform for uh, fine art and contemporary art. Mm -hmm. And if you have to compare between older Palestinian artists to the young generation, what will be the main difference? Okay, it's a good uh, question because the old generation, uh, they were like, uh, uh, they worked for the for the mission of the Palestinian nation, uh, nation. like they work only for the uh, uh, recruited or drafted or uh, mobilized. Like it was mobilized for the political. Uh, uh, it was uh, mobilized uh, uh, art for the uh, Palestinian nation. For the Palestinian like, cause. Cause, okay. And, uh, but now the, the artists work for all the field, uh, for everything, and they are free to work for everything, not only for the politics. I see. Uh, this, I uh, see. Like that. The, this and in addition, other things as well. But where do they study? I Art. studied in uh, uh, Ramat Sharon. You studied in Ramat Sharon. Yes, uh, but, when you, but when you look at the young generation of Palestinian artists, where do they get uh, their okay. education? They, the, most of them study in Israel here. And Bitzel and Oranim and Bet Ber and Tel Chai, for example, mm -hmm. and uh, like that, and Bitzu and Chifa, uh, or ah. Chifa. Some of them study art in uh, uh, in uh, abroad, but uh, most of them study here with mm -hmm. the influence of their uh, uh, teachers uh, mm -hmm. that they teach them, and they come back after that to the community. Uh, to work and to uh, teach uh, the new generations, the kids after that, how to work with art, how, how to empower their, in, um, uh, their uh, uh, knowledge by art. And uh, for that we have now uh, uh, a lot of artists and a lot of kids want to be artists in the future. It's interesting. So when you, for example, uh, compare the young generation of Palestinian artists to the older generation, can you say that art is becoming much more popular than it used to be? Of course, because the, now the, the needs of people here uh, uh, turn to be uh, another needs, became to be another needs be, before. 
Uh, before it was uh, physical needs and very little uh, art, uh, Palestinian artists uh, uh, studied art before. But now they st uh, started to be to study art and their family pushed them to study art. Like uh, before that, uh, the people ask why art? Why do you, you, are, you, you don't uh, study to be a lawyer, for example, or doctor, medicine? But now, the, to study art, it's okay and you can ah. uh, uh, empower yourself by, by art. Now, the families push their children uh, to, like, to exist their dreams by everything. Art and high-tech and medicine and everything. But if, one, if somebody wants to study art, nobody uh, from the family um, stop him for uh, his dream. Mm. Saeed Abu Shakra, you have been very generous with your hospitality. And before we end this conversation, what can we wish you and the gallery? Uh, you can wish me that uh, we, we will become, become a museum in the future. And I would like to see uh, many, many people come here. And I uh, would like to see everybody uh, uh, see this uh, video. Uh, look uh, in, in Google and uh, visit us in our website and write us about himself and to create uh, more friends and more contacts uh, every place in the world. I would like to see more Arabs and more Muslims and more artists from all over the world write for us and I promise that everybody write to me to write him back and I would like uh, to send my regards and my love for everybody. Wonderful. So we wish you that and much more than that. And one more thing that is a bit personal, that you will find the time to go back to painting. I think that I have to do that because my wife pushed me all the time. <laughs> Please find the time for your art. And I we, will do that. And we always listen to our wives. Of course, I am the first man who listens uh, for his wife. Saeed Abu Shaka, I want to thank you very much and to wish you all the best. Toda Shalom. Thank you. Very much. And shalom, salam, 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 salam.